truth. We black out here. We can't come out here and do it any kind of way we want to. Let me, Listen oh, to me. Your husband yes. can't be the Sydney that he really is out here. Let me tell you They're something. Not fit, that flexing, Let me we got to flex something. a different way. We Let out me. here in a game. This the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this the is money the money game. game. But I, we in the money something. game. And We're you cannot sacrifice game. yourself. The we best are. thing you can do for this poor people is not be brother. one of them. You cannot We're help them. We're in the money them, game. Mom. But let me tell you what the game you is before the help money them game. Like this. Before the money game, it's called the integrity game. And we've lost the integrity worrying about the money. But Mo, and wait a minute. If wait I minute. crumble, if you my crumble. children. What up, YouTube? I'm Paul. This is TNCO back at you with another video so steve harvey has lost not one but two shows he's lost his main show the steve show and he's also lost little big shot so it looks like he's losing the steve show to kelly clarkson and he's losing little big shots to melissa mccarthy now i'm really I, I like i like the steve show i thought the steve show was actually a pretty good show and i was actually surprised to see that they had canceled it but it's not necessarily that they had canceled it it's that they're canceling steve so they're pretty much just giving both of his shows away to other people. Rumor is that Steve had went read, read up on some new contracts and it allowed him to make more money on some of these shows. It, it allowed him to make more money than NBC on some of these shows. NBC didn't like that, so they're getting rid of Steve. The crazy part is Steve didn't know that he was getting fired. He didn't get a call saying, hey man, this is it for you. This is the end of the road. He found out when everybody else found out. So clearly he's a little upset. Now Monique actually came to his defense. A lot of people were shocked about that being the fact that you guys saw at the beginning of the video the clip that he had put up and people were saying that Steve didn't come to Monique's aid when she really needed him and he's more about money than anything else. So Monique actually has her own YouTube channel and she actually stood up for Steve and she defended him in a sense and it was actually really nice to see Monique being who she is. So before I showed you guys that clip, it is kind of long. I'll also put the description in the comments below or, you know, in the description below. And you guys can go check out, you know, Monique's whole um, interview. Not an interview, really, but you guys go check out her channel and exactly what she said on the whole situation. Anyways, guys, that's what I have for you guys today. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll be back with another video. Thank you, YouTube. Tag mm. a, a whole lot. Yes, I have. Since Steve has gotten his show canceled and little big shots and just thought it'd be a great time to speak about it in addition to uh lee daniels yeah so we just thought that we would have a you know a little conversation about it like we always do now i i, I want to kick it off kick it off okay and the reason why i want to kick it off is because some of the memes and tags i've been getting has been almost celebratory Almost. Well, have been celebratory. Well, people say, that's what his ass get. Yeah, yeah, Mo, see? Let me be clear about something. Let us be clear about something. We do not celebrate what appears to be someone else's demise. We do not stand and applaud and say, yeah, look what's happening. That's what you get. That's not where we're coming from. That's not the stance we've ever taken. So what I would ask y'all to do is we got to love our folks through it. Yep. We got to love them through it. And I know some people would say, hey, Monique is crazy because one minute she's saying they didn't do it right and the next minute she's saying love them through it. Let me tell you exactly what we're saying. Tell them. Steve Harvey, I've, I've considered him my friend. Now, maybe he didn't consider me his friend, but I've always considered him my friend. And as my friend, when we came out and said what was going on, it wasn't to put my friend down. It was to say, this is what it is. This is what's happening. And you've often referred to him as your brother. As my brother. When it comes to Brother Lee Daniels, I'm getting all kind of hits. That's what his ass get, Mo. Yeah, see, karma is a bitch. All of that. I don't celebrate my brother Lee Daniels getting those shows canceled. Because what I want us to think about, when those shows get canceled, I can't celebrate Lee Daniels getting canceled because so many other people are involved that lose their jobs. That some people, when they lose those jobs, there are bills that doesn't get paid. 
their situations and, and things that happen because you're used to making that money and now it's being taken away. And some of us are standing up saying, yay. If we continue to do that, we'll continue to be treated the way that we're treated. And not observe how they went out. Because at the end of the day, we look at what's right and what's wrong. Come on. And Monique and I, before we were husband and wife, we were best friends. And it was nothing for us to have a disagreement and vehemently disagree with one another than afterwards be like, nigga, you want a sandwich? <laughs> you, 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 you want something to eat? So the disagreement that her and Steve, Lee, uh, uh, Tyler, Oprah, that has nothing to do. Disagreeing with somebody means that we respect you too much to sit here and pretend like we agree with you and, and we really don't. Yes. But we love you enough that even though we may have disagreed with you, when we see you get violated or done wrong, then we got to speak to it because if we sit back and we laugh at this brother because the show was taken off or the shows were taken off and his numbers may have been lower than they were, but when you number four Come on. or five on the network, what it's saying to the folks are, and network television, what it's saying to the folks are, and we just laugh at him, your baby, Come on. your brother, your sister, somebody out there has some talent in their family. You may be the talent in your family. And you may look like Steve Harvey. You may be a person of color. <clears throat> And what will oftentimes happen is, because what a lot of people don't know is what he was trying to accomplish was groundbreaking. He had ownership in his show with a company called IMG, and it wasn't NBC being able to own it in the way that they normally did it. So it was groundbreaking, and it was as if, if we can't have as much as we want, you've got to go. So the very message, ever so humbly, that Monique was trying to share with Brother Steve in reference to integrity over money, we asked ourselves and we used to say, if you ran into you, would you get along with yourself? Mm. And if you deal with other people, that money is more important than the integrity of letting you know what they're thinking so that you can leave on good terms and you run into yourself, but you don't like it. Sometimes it gives you an opportunity to say, you know what? Maybe I need to rethink how I was uh, going about things, but nonetheless, it doesn't mean that you were wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It doesn't mean that, that we should applaud the failure of it simply because we had a disagreement. Right. And I and I and I think, y'all, that's what we've been so conditioned to do. If we disagree, it's over. It's done. We disagree and we walk away. And again, with Steve Harvey, as I've considered that man, my brother, for 25 plus years, I'm not going to back down now. Even though I disagree, we disagree with the way that brother handled it. We disagree with the way that Lee Daniels handled it. Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, we disagree. Will Packer, we disagree with the way they handle it. But if they're still being done wrong, we don't then say that's what they get. Because the, that's what they get will one day be what you get. It'll be one day what your family gets because yes. they know a precedent has been set that the black community won't stand behind others when they've seen them done wrong because you only have a small margin of error when you are a person of color before people will turn their back on you because Monique was the craziest thing in the world because she had the unmitigated gall to say, wait a minute, why would I promote a movie when I have no obligation to these individuals to promote it internationally? And I failed on my part, but there's a news article and I'll look it up while we're talking. Um, that had Monique in 2010 in New York Times and a final author where it says specifically by Lee Daniels, 
everything that Monique needed to do for this film, she's already done in front of the camera. While she's promoting the picture to the New York Times, getting prepared to do a cover shoot for Vanity Fair. These are things that are hidden in, in, in plain sight, but because someone might not have necessarily been a friend to you, doesn't mean that you're not going to be a friend to you mm. by not being a, a friend to what is right and subsequently being a friend to them.